I wish to be remembered that I was the last man of my tribe to surrender my rifle. We knew the soldiers were coming, but we did not want to fight if we could do otherwise. They say I murdered Custer. I say to you it is a lie. He was a fool and rode to his death. If he had taken our village, he would have killed our women and children. I took with me my young son, Crowfoot, who carried my rifle. And I told Brotherton, I surrendered this rifle to you through my young son. I wish him to learn the habits of the whites and to be educated as their sons are educated. I want no restraint. I will stay on the reservation, but I want to go where I please. I want to have the white man with me, but not be my chief. I wore a full eagle feather bonnet and a buckskin tunic with quill work decoration. People had been very kind to me. I believe they knew why I held all my people to starve when we were in Canada, rather than to submit to what was wrong. I did not understand the ways of the white man. I have seen the villages where they lived, and I had seen the people in the streets begging for money because they were hungry and they call themselves civilized and us savages. By this time, the ghost dance and Wavoka's teachings had come to the Standing Rock Indian Reservation. The soldiers will come and you will be blamed. You are deceiving your people and you well know it. You must stop it at once and send them away, she said. I said to her, sister, I cannot do it. I have gone too far. 